Hello and welcome to my own video on how to draw the eye with me. My name is Steven Lurson and I'm glad to have you. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to learn something. I'm going to go ahead and start with this. So here we go. First we're going to start uh, by drawing the eye, not at the viewer, but up and to the right. So as we know, the eye is a sphere, it is round. So that's how we're going to start. We draw in the tear duct, and then the eyelid wraps around the eye. So it's kind of an almond shape, but it's not symmetrical. It's important to keep the pupil directly in the middle of the iris. They have to be in line with one another. They can't be uh, unique circles with different angles. You want to outline the iris and the pupil pretty dark. The way that I'm going to draw this is that I'm going to fill it all in and then erase away the highlights. If you know exactly where your highlights are going to go, then you should mark those areas off because it's almost impossible to get the white of the paper to return after you've already darkened it with charcoal or pencil. So now that we have the basic shape, now all that's left is adding details and primarily shading. The eyelid is three-dimensional. It is not uh, invisibly thin. There, there is a visible quality to it. It, it, is, it comes out away from the eye. And the outer line that you create by creating and kind of outlining the interior of the eyelid, which touches the eyeball, on the outline, that is where the hair follicles are for your eyelashes, for anyone's eyelashes. So it's important to have that. It develops depth, and it also gives you uh, your lines where you will create the eyelashes. The eyelashes line up with the center of the eye. They come out from the eye. So as you work your way around the eye, the angle of the eyelash should change. It's important to draw your eyelashes with a sharp pencil. You don't want a dull pencil, which then would create wide, broad, unrealistic eyelashes. The sharper, the more details, and the more clear. I like to use my finger to shade, which is something I've always done. This is sort of how I was taught to draw. It's what I feel does a good job. And the shading is um, brings so much form and rendering. Because remember, our eyeball is not flat. It is three-dimensional. It is a sphere. This goes up to the bridge of the nose. And you can see I'm kind of scribbling this in. Um, you can be as detailed as you'd like. So now we're developing some nice shadows, but I'm definitely going to have to go back in to pull out some highlights. Because it's getting to be too muddy and dark without any distinction. You want to have contrast and clarity. And also, the highlights will give the eye a nice uh, wet look, which is natural. Alright, so now I need to get my eraser. 
And I could use a big white eraser, but I'm just going to use a standard and do a pencil eraser because it's going to give me a little more control. Hmm. This is also one of the reasons why you really want to pick your highlights out ahead of time so you can keep it clean. Because if you don't, it's almost impossible to bring it back to the white of the of the original paper.